All right, welcome back everybody. Um, so the Forerunner is back, uh, has a little bit of an issue, uh, something I didn't know was even an issue, but uh, we're gonna do a little quickie to show you how to fix it. The issue is uh, because there's a, an angle on this inner CV, there's a uh, needle bearing on the inside of that differential, and when that gets a little bit of an angle on it, it causes a vibration in the front. So there's a company out there, East Coast Gear Supply, that makes this bushing has a uh, hard edge here so you can drive it in has a uh, impregnated centered bushing of some sort that's supposed to last basically for the life of a vehicle you can also buy their uh, press in tool that fits perfectly to drive that in and then they also have a removal tool which is basically some threaded rod a machined uh, holder on one end and then a nut and a flange to use to pull it out. So I'm going to show you how to take this and swap it out. If you have a vibration in your lifted 4Runner or Tacoma, you need to hit up East Coast Gear Supply. So the 4Runner has been on the road for about a week or so now. This is why you should always bring your projects back and check everything. Even though these bolts were all torqued, I've got several that have worked their way loose. Check and recheck, especially if it's not your own rig. So one of the benefits of not working on a lift is that uh, when you are working on a differential where you only take one axle out, you can actually jack these up and leave them on an angle, which will reduce the amount of fluid that's lost. Uh, if you notice here, I jack it up and I leave one side lower than the other, and it really does minimize the amount of uh, differential fluid that I had to replace. Once the vehicle is up in the air, just uh, remove the front suspension. You're going to take your tie rod loose, your upper and lower ball joints, sway bar in link. Uh, move the spindle out of the way. Uh, you will have to slide the axle out of the uh, front wheel bearing. And you'll see here in just a second how I did that. So even though this 4Runner was brand new, the dust cover for the axle nut was super, super tight. And I was doing my best to not mar it up too bad, getting it off of there. Uh, once I finally got it popped off, I uh, removed the axle nut. And I can use a piece of a mechanics wire to hang the spindle off to the side. I just recorded the short version of getting the axle popped out of the differential, uh, but there's a tip I'll give you here is to have a piece of wire or a strap underneath the axle to hold it nearly level. Otherwise, the weight hanging off of that inner joint will cause the lock ring to not release and you will fight to get the axle popped out of the differential. So hang it level and then it'll pop right out. Then it's just a matter of taking the tool to remove the old bearing and then to take the driver and drive the new bushing in. Reassembly is pretty simple. Put it all back together, torque everything down, make sure you put all your cotter pins in and castle nuts are aligned correctly. Put the wheel back on, put it back on the ground and send it on home. And don't forget to refill the differential fluid to the proper level. Okay, so now that we've got the full runner done and it's back with its owner we've got to figure out what's going to be the next project so let me know what you think should be next do we wait for the parts to come in for the air ride on the 2021 camry trd do we start getting down and dirty on the 92 dodge ram charger Do we dive deeper into more than just maintenance?
on the 2003 Silverado 2500 HD? Or would you rather see me finish the video on what all's been done to the 09 Corvette over the last almost five years of ownership? Of course, those are all large projects that would probably take multiple videos to get done. Would you rather see smaller projects, so maybe some light fabrication jobs, welding, automotive wiring, car audio? Let me know in the comments what you'd want to see first. Some of the stuff we have to wait on parts, so maybe out of order. But I'd like to see what people have the most interest in. Comment below.